doesn't he doesn't miss by much when he does unless he wants to and uh, you know he he got us out but we did you know get his pitch count up where we felt like you know five innings is probably what he was going to you know get and, and when you're striking guys out your pitch count's going to get up and Hagan struck out I think seven or eight in his five innings so his pitch count got up a little bit but you know, if it's later in the season, obviously, I think both starters would have gone the sixth and who knows, maybe the seventh. But it came down to the bullpens, and it was uh, it was quite a bullpen battle. And, again, we held on, uh, did just enough to win the ball game. Going to Brady in that situation again, is it a matter of experience or matchup alone? Um, it was a, just a matter of experience and stuff. I mean, he's got great stuff. and. Um, you know, he got off to a little bit of a slow start after the holidays, but, uh, you know, we talked as a staff, obviously, about how we were going to handle the game, and we kept him for the back of the game. And uh, obviously he did a tremendous job. He came in throwing strikes with everything he threw, and um, I think that, you know, his reputation is that he's got a good breaking ball, but he's got a good fastball. Now he's got a two-seamer and a change-up, slider. It's not just all about, you know, throwing a, a curveball. And, uh you know, pitch like that. You can finish a lot of games. You can go three or four innings or even start a game. That's that's good stuff. The other Brady's the other Brady's favorite about it. I think he had three lead off hits today. Just talk about what you saw from him. He had a great great night. I think two of those hits were two two strikes. Um, you know, started innings for us and started the big inning, the three run inning that I mean, you look back on it, it should have been a five-run inning. And that was uh, – when we only scored three, I'll, that's what happens in this game. When you leave runners a third, less than two outs, a lot of times it will come back and get you. And the game will slowly shift the momentum to their dugout when, you know, their leadoff hitter that inning had an incredible at bat and then hit a home run. And he just muscled it out of the park. It's extremely strong. It wasn't like it was a terrible pitch on the replay. It was a way. It was where we wanted it. But he just went out there and, and, and hooked it and hit it a long way. But – uh, pitchers did a great job. We did just enough and feel fortunate to get a win, honestly. I want to ask about the pitchers, uh, Smith and, and Frank in particular. You guys helped Texas without a hit with Burn, Burn position. Just yeah, they, they pitched out of a, you know, a couple of jams. And uh, obviously, I think runners at third and, uh, you know, runners at second and third and one out. We brought the infield in in the fifth. I don't usually do that, but it was a tie game. It just seemed like that type of game. And uh, you get Smith got a big strikeout, and then I think he struck out the next hitter to end the inning. That was big momentum for us. And you know Frank did a good job. He he had a runner third and one out, got a strikeout. I think they got the hitter with two strikes, and then he, then he wild pitched him home. And their dugout erupted over there when they scored that run without a hit. And uh, you know when we get a leadoff double the next inning, we got to score that run, and we didn't. We needed to make it four to two. So. Uh, again, we, we we won the game. Pitching was outstanding, but, but we, we've got to do a better job with runners in scoring position. I'm sure Texas feels the same way. How big was the infield defense? Obviously, you've seen those guys up the middle play well throughout the offseason, but how big was that to see you know, guys that you're replacing up there? Well, I thought the middle infield played great. I mean, Stovall made a nice backhand play there and I think, the eighth, and they had a little something going there, and then uh, they turned two double plays the first two innings and made it look easy. and. And then John made a really nice play in the bottom of the ninth. Went to his left, went to his right, and fielded the ball up front. Got rid of it. Um, made it look easy, and that's not an easy play. And I think you could tell that Brady was fired up about it because he knows that's not an easy play. And uh, so we, you know, really good to see. We've been doing a lot better job defensively the last couple of weeks, and I've told him that that we've really started playing better defense. Yeah, I mean, that was big. Uh, he, he he had some really good at-bats tonight. That one at-bat, maybe, maybe he was first at-bat in this third inning where he fouled off a bunch of pitches and then singles to center. Uh, that at-bat, he saw a lot of pitches and then smoked one down the third baseline. He gave us a three-run lead, and it looked like we were getting ready to put the game away. And then credit to Texas, they got out of that big jam. Always nice. Well, you know, I think it, it feels good because it was on the road. It's so hard to win on the road. It's hard to win anywhere against, you know, Power 5 schools that 
have a lot of tradition and they're they're used to winning. So uh, you're trying to get me in trouble with that question. So I'm just going to let that one go. Yeah, we had an incredible fans fan base tonight. I mean, they they showed up and yeah, you could tell from the, when we walked on the field to stretch and they called the Hogs for the first time. There were a lot of Arkansas fans here, and uh, I think the players really appreciated it. And I was telling them to calm down a little bit because the players, that is, uh, just because I don't want them. <laughs> you know, you get you let adrenaline up and down. By about the seventh inning, you're going to be done. And we were starting to fade a little bit. And uh, you know, it was uh, it was one of those games. I think very emotional, exciting, and uh, you know, hopefully we sleep good night because we're going to play really, really good. From what I saw to beat TCU, this is a, a park they're real familiar with, and they play some games over here, and they looked really good today. Yeah, I'm going to follow up with that TCU question. Got to watch them a little bit, but you know, putting up 11 runs on Vanderbilt and then still putting up 30 really Yeah, they look they looked really athletic to me, and. They've got a superstar third baseman that you saw him hit that ball about 430 feet into the way up into the seats, and uh, you know they're they're just uh, they're scrappy, and just a uh, you know these are they're real familiar. With it. As a matter of fact, I think they're not even staying in a hotel; they're staying at home, which I don't blame them. And uh, so the, we're going to have to play we're going to have to play really good tomorrow. When we get a chance to score, we're going to have to score. Right, coach. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I uh, felt really familiar when I got there, out there under the, under the lights on the mound, man. Uh, it felt really good. It felt really good. Oh, it felt great. Uh, yeah, um, there was another situation earlier in the game with a running scoring position. It didn't go my way, so I uh, just want to get up there, started off with a slider, um, with a fastball to play and just put a good swing on it. It felt great. Hey, what were your overall thoughts on your outing? You know, had to battle a little bit there in the fifth, hit the fifth, but things seemed to go pretty well for you. What else you have working for you? Yeah, I had a little bit of everything working today. <laughs> I'm a change up, working pretty good today, and I killed the hitters off balance, and the defense played really good behind me. Tell me you thought it was really bad that well. What did you see the playoff play from the same game? What's up? I said, can you talk about how well you played defensively and how you did Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's why we work so hard in practice all week and all fall. So we can just go out there and have fun, play in front of a crowd like that. It's not much you can ask for. Uh, I think the guys have just gained a lot of confidence. Uh, we help each other out a lot. Uh, we're a close knit bunch, um, and we just honestly worked our butt off, and we've gotten better. Each other's. I don't know. Really really Smith. Oh my gosh, he's so fun to watch, man. No, I thought Brady did really good. I knew he, when he came in, it was done. Uh, he's been in so many situations closing, so I knew it was done. And I knew it was over from inning one whenever we had Hagen Smith on the mound, so. Kendall, I know you weren't running last week. You know, you were still swinging the bat. How did you feel out there tonight? Were you all good? Good, good. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, ready to go. Can't wait to get back out there tomorrow. This is for anybody who ever wants to take it, but the crowd tonight, the coach just talked about it, how great was it? <coughs> It was unbelievable. It felt like a home game, but it was awesome. Uh, yeah, can't wait to get back out there. Something special about being a Razorback, man. We uh, play in Texas in their home state, and our fans outnumber them three, four to one, man. Uh, special group to play for them.
I think the first moment when I realized what Hog fans were, were all about is when we first stepped on the field just for warm-ups. They went crazy, and it's just it's just eye-opening. Hey, you know, the in-state kid, was there any kind of added to what night that you were pitching in a big league park in your home state? I mean, you pitched in Round Rock last year. Was it just a little different? Yeah, I mean, I wish it was in the other Ranger Stadium, the old one. That's what I grew up going to, but it's still really cool to pitch here. Uh, I watched a little bit of their game, man. Uh, bit. I mean, they're a really good team, man. They're ranked high for a reason. Uh, I mean, they're solid all the way around, what I saw. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.